Hi everybody, I'm Tina. This is To the Inner Wild. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're doing a reading with the Holy Light Tarot. Um, it's kind of like biblical, you know, art with a little bit of like Freemasonry and, and symbolic stuff in there. So don't get too worried because what we're doing is doing a reading on... <sighs> Why do people like hanging around you? Why do people enjoy your presence? Okay, so the first one is Nine of Swords. Um, there's somebody that um, they can stay up late at night with um, or go on, you know, long walks, long talks. Um, and this isn't, this is like sleepover bonding where, you know, you can just like, you're revived by um, each other's um, presence. So it's not just like by your presence, but you bring out, you know, that, um, that inner me, that genuine part of, you engage people's thoughts because so it's swords energy. So that's air energy that's all consumed in your thoughts, but not like confined to your own. So you bring out that channel to other people. You may also be a channel or yourself, um, highly intuitive. Um, and it's like people forget that you know, they need sleep sometimes um, because you, you know, bring, you bring out that life in them. Do you see how like that bird is chained to, it looks like some type of coffin um, and it's brought out from like its tomb. So it's no longer six feet deep. So even if something's weighing on that other person, um, whoever it is, if they're, if they're having to deal with like putting out fires or having one um, lit beneath them, they're able to talk to you about it. Like you're able to um, help them carry that weight. How awesome is that? That is really cool. Um, okay, so there's gonna be a part two to this, but um, this bird is golden and that's um, very much symbolic to who you are to them um, and how you make them feel. Um, that's excellent. Um, okay. And you're able to help them solve mysteries like one plus one, you know, equals two. And, um, I, this is the first time I've ever seen, um, a can, I mean, sorry, I have to say something about the, the candle that keeps getting muffled, but these two, that's the first time I've seen that. 